Welcome to the introduction of the RTC360. This is everything that you see that would come with the package. So over here to the right, you have four lithium ion batteries. You have your user's guide and some other documentation down here. You have two 256 gig industrial grade USB sticks. You have the RTC unit itself. You also have the four bay battery charger. And then up here in the top, you have a, f a couple other accessories and room for other items. So spare batteries could go up here. You can fit your tablet or whatever you want to run the instrument with up in here as well. You also have your calibration certificate and a few other miscellaneous items that are up inside of there. All right, so this is the GST80 Leica carbon fiber tripod. And I'm gonna quickly show you how to mount the RTC360 to this tripod. So simply to mount, you just simply pull across the locking mechanism to unlock, slide it down over the quick release, and then slide the locking me mechanism back in place. And as you can see, it locks the RTC on there. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna install some batteries. And in order to do this, we simply open up the battery compartment, take the batteries with the contacts facing inwards from the outside of the scanner and back, and push until it locks in place. Simply do the same thing with the other one. Now, <clears throat> both of these batteries don't have to be installed for the scanner to be on. However, it will drain both batteries at the same time, but the batteries are hot swappable. So when one battery or both batteries are, are dying um, and I'm getting ready to change, instead of turning off the scanner, I can simply just push the red button over, remove one battery, grab a replacement for that battery, put that battery back in, and then do the same thing with the other one. And I don't have to turn the unit off, which helps with the with the cloud to cloud registration. All right, so let's go ahead and insert the USB now. Like I said earlier on, the system comes with two 256 gig um, USB sticks, similar to this one right here. And you'll see that one side actually has a slot that goes down the middle of it compared to the flat back side. That slot actually faces to the right as you're facing the screen of the scanner. So just simply open up the dust cover and insert the USB until it snaps into place. And then you can close the dust cover. And we're going to go ahead and turn the unit on right now. <clears throat> and while it's powering up, we'll talk a little bit about some of the items that are included with, within the scanner. So inside the scanner, you actually have a compass, an IMU, a consumer grade GPS, an altimeter, and you also have um, what's called a vis or visual inertial system. So when you look at the outside of the unit itself, you do have three cameras right here on the front side that are behind little panes of glass. Each one of these cameras is a 12 megapixel camera, and it makes up the three camera system that it uses to take photos to colorize the point cloud with. Um, at every position, the cameras will take five different images. So each camera takes five different images and it's a multi-tiered HDR image. Um, there are 12 positions altogether uh, for that. Now, if I turn the unit a little bit here, you're also gonna notice that there's cameras on the corners. So there's two there. And then if I flip the unit around the other way, there's two more there. And then there's one right up here on the top that you can't see. These cameras are what make up the visual inertial system. And the way that works is, like I said before, the unit has an IMU, which is an inertial measurement unit inside of, of, the, uh, of the instrument. So when you go to pick the, the instrument up, that IMU senses movement and it clicks the cameras on and the cameras watch where you walk. So that when I come to a certain point and I set that back down, um, the, the location of the scanner between the cameras and the IMU is plus or minus just a few centimeters. 